Floor Castle number 11, Alicia speaking. Okay, Alicia, I don't mean to be rude, but are you guys stupid down there? My burger is like the size of a kid's burger. Okay. It's te- it's like we teeny tiny. Have- it's like teeny tiny. Okay, we uh, okay. We only we have our burgers are small. I understand if you're doing like with the government program or whatever, and you got someone on the grill and they don't know, you know, they. I'm not. I'm not trying to be rude. I really. I'm sorry. But you are being. Well, rude. if I meant if they're like legally stupid or something, I take it back. But if you guys are just normal stupid, then I really wish you'd get it together, dumb. To- Castle, how can I help you? What um, what the, uh, exactly is going on here? Are you guys doing like a late April Fool's thing or something? Or what is this supposed to be funny with my sandwiches? Or what's going on? I'm sorry, what was that? Okay, my, my cousin's girlfriend had just gone down there to get us all sandwiches. And she brings them back home here. And I, I don't know if this is some type of a fucking prank or something, but these damn things are like barely the size of the palm of my hand. They're tiny. Okay. And I don't want no fucking mini, mini size. Oh, little... Castle, may I help you? Oh my God, that's very rude of her to just hand off the phone like that. I was in the middle of a sentence. Will you reprimand her after the end of this call, please? What can I do for you? My cousin's girlfriend had gone down there. To get us all a sandwich for dinner time, okay? And I thought everything was going to be fine. But I was wrong. Because when she got back, these sandwiches are tiny. They're tiny. They're about the width of my knuckles. They're very small. That's not what I signed up for. If you guys are doing like a leftover April Fool's Day prank or something, that's not good. And you need to let people know ahead of time. Sir, our burgers are always small. What do you mean? I mean that's how they come. Well, I don't want it. I want a normal. Everyone's always saying, "Oh, you got to go to White Castle. You got to go to White Castle." And since today is Taxes Day, I figured now would be the first good time to go. And so the, the cousin's girlfriend, she goes down. She's there. She's there. She's there. She's waiting. She's buying. She's paying. She's coming back, and they're small. They're too small after all that time and effort. Is there something we can do about this, please? Um, sir, like those are the size of the burgers. Okay, those are we, how they're made. Can we get the big ones? I don't. We don't make big ones here. I I'd gone because I don't know what the hell's going on down there. I don't know what a White Castle means. I went to WhiteCastle.com. There's pictures. There are pictures, and they look big to me. They look normal size. They look like a good sandwich, not like a tiny little snack for a kindergartner. Is this Sir, like I what don't am I control how White Castle makes their food? Well, can you can you are you the manager? I'm the GM, yes. Would you mind taking control, please, and making some normal sandwiches down there for normal adult normal people, please? Sir, sir, I don't have that authority. Sir, I am very normal, and I would like a very normal sandwich to go along with it. Your drinks are normal size. There was a the French fries. Every everything seems okay. I don't know if I got to go back over those with a fine tooth comb, looking for problems now. Seeing how you run the place down there, the general manager. You're in charge of more than one store, is what you're saying to me. No, I'm in I'm in charge of this store, sir. So okay, oh, you're not really a general manager then. You're just a manager in general. You met. No, I am the general manager of this. The G location. okay, the GM, the GM is gonna eat, they're gonna drive around and they're gonna go here and they're gonna go there and they're gonna check and see what all the problems are and they're gonna take care of them. If you're just a regular manager, don't say you're a general manager. You're just generally managing things. You're not a general manager. No, I am a general manager. I don't you're know why you're lying to me. A district me. manager. A district manager and a general manager are two different things, and a general manager is generally in charge of a lot of general stores at the same time, and they go and they drive, and they go here, and they have a company car, and they get a salary, and they get a bonus, and one time... Sir, I do get all that. Oh, that's what I'm saying, okay? And then that's why you have to go to different stores, and I just wanted to ask... I don't go to different stores. I run this store. So how many stores are you neglecting then? 
and you're I'm just at this one and the sandwiches are still this size store. you're only at one store and the sandwiches are still this size with the so company the car going to be that size no matter what store you go that's to. what i was trying to ask you okay so you have been to other stores you're not listening to me is there something wrong with you yeah your burgers are the size of my home and i'm like is there something wrong with you? No, there's nothing other than the fact that I'm hungry from not having had enough nourishment due to your tiny little tiny burgers that I wasn't expecting like that. What what well, am I, I mean, supposed to do? Not my what fault are, okay. come here and got small burgers for you. I well then you do have big ones? Did she order them small? No, we don't. Is that the problem? Every sandwich we sell in the store is the same so, okay. size of the sandwich what, you got. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I what, am I supposed to get like six of them or something? Because that doesn't make a That's damn like a sense. Most people do. That doesn't make any fucking sense. You can't have six burgers. Why wouldn't you just make one that's a normal size instead of having to eat six little ones? How does that make I mean, any you go to sense? McDonald's. How is that any way to run a business? You say you're the general manager and you're in charge of six stores and yet you're making tiny sandwiches for no reason. I never said I was in charge of six stores. That's what you said earlier. If you play the tapes back, I'm sure you'll hear it. I don't know why you're trying to change the stories and lie to me and confuse me like this. I'm not lying to you, and I'm not confusing you. You're confusing yourself. No, you are trying to trick me or something. About. You're trying to trick me at, for, at something here. What do I get out of this? I don't know. I thought, what are you trying to – are you covering for someone? Is someone paying you to who do this? Who are you covering for? I don't know. Who is someone paying you for this? I is mean, that what's happening here? if they are. Oh, my God. I really wish that you would stop and quit screwing around and just go in the back room and get the normal meat out and just make me and my cousin and his girlfriend the right size sandwiches, please, just for one time. Thank you. All Jesus I have Christ. to say is if you want a normal size sandwich, you may want to go somewhere else besides White Castle. You're doing this on White Good Castle Friday. Only are you aware? Money. Are you aware that it's Good Friday? Yes, I'm aware. Okay. And then why are you doing this? Aware. Then why are you doing this on Good Friday? Do you hate Jesus that Why much? Why are you acting like this? He's you hate Jesus. Me. Okay, but you must hate Jesus. That's, do you know how disrespectful that is to him? Do you know how disrespectful it is to cuss at me on Good Friday? I can say whatever the fuck that I want, and Jesus doesn't care at all. He's cool with it. Oh, yeah. But if you go around making stupid-sized sandwiches, that's not good, okay? Jesus knows everything, and he knows about it, and if you don't stop it— Yeah, and he knows how stupid this conversation is, too. Jesus doesn't think anything is stupid. You should ask him sometime. He'll tell you. Clearly he loves ever. He him. loves everyone, okay? He doesn't think anyone is stupid. He doesn't think I'm stupid. He doesn't think you're stupid even though you're being stupid. That's just how he rolls. Man, well, you, need to, you need to read your sure. fucking Bible. You need to read your fucking Bible. Maybe you do with the way you're speaking to me. I'll speak whoever I want because I read my goddamn fucking Bible in motherfucking America, bitch. Okay. Thank Good you. Good for you. Thank you. Now, I'm going to come down there, do whatever you got to do, squish two of them together. I really don't give a shit at this point. I just want a normal-sized sandwich, and I'd like to get on with my evening. Sure. Please. Sir, you can come down here, and you're going to get the same size sandwich. You can squish them together, then. I'll give you two burgers. You can squish no, them No, I need it to. Okay, I'll squish the meat together if you cook them like that. Why are you playing games with like me? That. I'll give it Why are you PR playing games cook. with me? Why are you playing games with me if you aren't going to cook them that way? Because it's not my job to cook them Jesus that way. Jesus fucking Christ. Once you cook up meat, you can't squish it together anymore. You can only squish raw hamburger meat together. And you're saying you're a general manager of six stores? And you don't even know how hamburgers I work? I was over six stores. You think that you can squish hamburgers together after they're cooked? Is that what you're telling me? I'm not or, going to. You are. Well, how am I going to squish them together after they're cooked? Sandwich, the meat won't go together. together. It. Once it's cooked up, it gets browned and, and stuff on the outside. And it doesn't squish together like when it's raw pink hamburger meat well that's a you problem why are you playing on my phone like this i pay for I'm minutes on your phone i pay for minutes well that's a you problem you're the one that's going on and on like i don't have a problem i pay for my well, minutes i, I don't need you screwing thing. around like this going around in circles I need a resolution. I need a regular sized burger one for me one for my cousin and one for his girlfriend I've got a solution for you. Go to McDonald's. And you're what? You're going to give me a gift card or a coupon? <laughs> Neither. I'm going to bring the sandwich back and you're going to give me what? McDonald's dollars? How the fuck does that work? 
I'm not going to give you anything. Remember, it's Good Friday. I think that went out the long... Uh, well, God, the I don't think you're keeping you Jesus in your heart. I don't think you're keeping Jesus in your heart. <laughs> Honey, I got a lot more Jesus in my heart than you got in yours. I don't think so. We all keep Jesus in our heart in our different, our own special way. And you can't tell me that I'm doing it wrong. So you can fuck off well, with that you attitude. you can't tell me I'm doing it wrong. You are doing it wrong. If you think you can tell me you're, that I'm doing it wrong, you're doing then it wrong. You make nope. learn from yourself. You better not. You better not say it about me though. That's discrimination. You're supposed to be a fucking manager. You can't tell me my Jesus is wrong. I'm the fucking customer. I can tell you your Jesus is wrong all day long until you get him right. And you need to get him right. I got him right. I'm perfectly fine. No, you need to get your Jesus right because you got him crooked or something. If your Jesus this is a was all this conversation. No, it's not. It's a call about Christ. This is pointless. I don't have time to be wasting on the phone with you over. All right, then I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna get a regular sandwich or a McDonald's coupon or whatever the fuck you want to do. But I'm gonna come down there, and if you tell me to leave, I will. I'll leave immediately. Okay, you hear well, me? You probably don't want to come down here. Why well, do want to come down there? Then I'm gonna leave when I get when you get you I get there. You say leave. I'll say okay, and I'll fucking go. If that's what you want, that's what you'll get. Okay, well I'll just have the police waiting on you. Why would you have the police waiting if I'm gonna leave the first time you ask? You don't need them there. Because you're you can't an even. Customer. Well, I'm not even that irate. This is just how I talk. Sometimes people like it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sometimes people like it. They say, oh, why won't you get all freak? Why don't you freak out? Why don't you freak out at somebody? Why don't you get all mad? Why don't you yell at them for no reason, they say. And I go, all right, I guess I will. I'll give it a shot. I'll see if I can do it. And then here I am, and I'm doing it. This is it. And I don't know why you're not happy with me. I'm having a lot of fun because this is dumb. You're dumb. For Easter. I mean, maybe. You're dumb for Easter. But that's not your decision. It is my decision. And it's Jesus' call, too. And he's a better, he's got a better perspective than me. He's up there in the ref's chair. He can see it from a bird's eye view. He knows yeah, what's and he going on. acting a fool, so. No, we're cool. I already told you, we're cool. Everyone keeps Jesus in their heart in their own way, and you can't tell me I'm doing it wrong. I got you, you talking about, I wrong. got you talking about him, didn't I? I don't need you. That's to what he likes. Talk about no, him, no, 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 no. That's what he likes. That's what he's into, man. That's what I'm, God damn it. Okay, you know what? I've had it with you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I have. So I'm going to come down there, you're going to tell me to leave, and I'm going to get back in my car, and I'm going to go home. Okay. Thank well, you. That sounds dumb, but okay. Well, you're dumb, because that's how the only way you can tell me to leave is once I get there. You can't tell me to leave before I get there. That doesn't work like that. But once I get there, I'll leave. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, you can waste your gas. I don't care. Whatever, man. Know. I have a gas gift card. I got oh, it from my ex-girlfriend, so I don't even fucking care about it. I could it. see why she's an ex. Hey, you shut up. I wouldn't put up with you either. What? Are you single? No, I'm married. I don't give a fuck if you're like married. This. I don't give a fuck if you're married. You want to go on a date or something? <laughs> if you think I would go on a date with you, you're sadly mistaken. I wouldn't put up with your mouth for five minutes. You haven't even met me. Maybe I'm hot. How do you fucking know? You have no well, you way of telling. Hot, so well, you I'm have okay. no way of using. Well, I'm not going to say what you sound like because someone would think it was mean. I don't, really, I don't really care. You sound like you have stupid eyebrows that are all fucked up looking. Maybe they are. And you get them threaded? Maybe that's what keeps idiots away from me like you. You get your eyebrows threaded? It's a no, fucking it's a waste of money. To. It's a waste of money. Did you try it? Thank you. Is that how you knew? Because you tried it? No, I could, I've seen I seen it, and it looks stupid, and it's like $40. Well, I wouldn't even know how much it was, because I don't look into it. Then you're, you know what that makes you? Hmm. Ignorant. Thank eh. you for admitting it. Thank you for admitting your ignorance. I didn't. You said it, not me. And you know what else? You're a terrible, terrible manager, and you're an awful example to your staff. Hmm, that's not what they say. What are they doing right now? Are they working? Uh, I thought yeah. you were the fucking general manager of six stores. What happened to that? 
I never said that. You did. All of a sudden, you've got some boss who's over top of you now. Oh, I thought you were. Yeah, oh, you're the all district. high. You're the number one top manager in the land, and now all of a sudden, there's some district. You're in some district or something. That doesn't make any sense. This is the United States of America. You're in a state. You're not in a district. States are broken into districts. Honey. You need to hang up the Especially phone and go make some fucking fries and get those. You got those little. There are holes in it. There's holes in the hamburger. They're tiny and there's holes in them. And you need to fill in those fucking holes. You're ripping people off. I'll put an onion in there. Thank you. Are you done? Cause yeah, you're I pointless. am. I'm done. You're pointless for Easter. Cause I love you. Okay. I think you think I'm mad at you, but this is just how I am. All right? Doesn't have shit to I do mean, with I don't whether. Really... Oh my god. I don't really care either. I'm way. trying to wish you a happy Easter, and you won't fucking shut up long enough to let me do it. Because I don't need that from you. Well, I'm trying to wish it to you. Mm. We're neighbors. Well, We're neighbors you, in Christ. Bye. We're neighbors in Christ. Good for sometimes, you. sometimes your neighbor's a piece of shit, you know, but they're still your neighbor. You still water their plants. Yeah, you still let their cat in. You. you still check the mail for them, you know. You still let them know if someone's going and poking around in their backyard. You'll still let them know, even if they're an asshole. And that's how it is with me and you. Because we're neighbors in Christ, God damn it. Okay. Thank you. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, I love you. That's all, and I'd, I'd appreciate if you'd say it back. Mm, I don't really know you like that. Ah, uh, you don't Maybe have come to. Up here and we'll see. You don't have to know me personally. That's the kind of love that it is. It's not like sexual or weird or anything like that. It's the good kind of love that you should have in your either. heart towards strangers. It's the kind of love that you should have in your heart to towards strangers. And you're telling me you don't have that for me? Mmm... Not really. I've been talking to you for like 15 minutes, and you haven't learned to love me yet. That's what you're telling me. Yeah, at first, I didn't like you. Life, at first, I didn't like you, and now I love you, okay? And that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, well, first I didn't like you, and I still don't like you. So That's really fucked up. Anything. That's fucked up. Go get some hamburger meat. Form it up into a normal burger. I'll be down in 10. And if you tell me to leave, I'll leave. Okay, I'll see you in 10 minutes. Thank you. I love you. Okay, bye. I love you. Yeah. I love you. That's a common thing. Say it back. I have on people. Say it back. Eh, I don't really feel like it. Say it back. Maybe when you show up. I'm going to. Okay, come on. Let's go. You're dragging it out. No, I'm not. Get your you car are. And come up here. Hang up then. If you want to be like that. Hang up. I don't have a hang up button. It's Bye. broken on my thing. A touch screen doesn't work. I have to use the okay, voice assistant. I have to use the voice assistant to dial because the touch screen doesn't work. When you did it. Okay, love you. Bye. I love you too. Bye. <laughs>